Hi, welcome to another episode of Book Covers DIY. Today I have a quick lesson for you. I'm going to show you how to curve your font in Canva. Uh, so here are a few designs that I made on the last video where I showed you how to insert a photo into a frame. So that was this one here and this little witch down here. Uh, I showed you that on my last quick video. So now I'm going to show you how we can add a curved text uh, for our title or our author name. So we're going to go over here to text and I'm just going to click on add a heading right here. I'm going to bring that up to the top and bring that down slightly. Okay, so I'm going to click in there and let's just call this um, the same thing as the previous one. Hansel and Gretel. Let's just pick a different one, maybe something like that. Okay, I'm going to change the color to maybe brown or let's just pretend this is our actual title and we want to curve it. So all we have to do is click on our you know, our text box. Then we're going to come up here to effects. If you click on effects, this is where we normally, you know, add a shadow, things like that. Uh, if you go down to the bottom, you're going to see it says shape. Right now, there's a purple box around none because we just have it straight. But next to that, uh, it says curve. You can click in there. Right now, it's obviously way too curved for this design. So we can take this slider and as we bring it back, look at this purple. Uh, circle appears over here as I move it and you can see it is getting wider and wider so you can adjust the curve on this so let's set it at 25 that would probably be good for this design and I'm going to bring it down uh, if you want to increase the size of your font of course you just click on the box and drag that out and it adjusts as well so see this one just has a slight curve on it now let's go down to this one here. We'll do the same thing and then we'll leave it with a, a much more rounded curve. So let's do that again. Let's click on add a heading and let's call this Winnie the Witch. Let's say it's a little children's story, Winnie the Witch. It might be a little bit too big. We'll see. Okay, so I definitely want to change the font first thing. It, it's always best to change your font first because it's going to look different uh, once you change the font and you're going to have to go back and do it a second time. Uh, I chose my font and then make sure you click on your box and then you're going to come up here to effects. Again, here's your all your shadow options and things like that. Uh, you're going to come down to shape and you're going to click on curved. Let's go ahead and bring that out. We want to match it sort of with the arch in the window. So let's bring this down. We want to center it. You can bring it closer to the arch if you'd like. And you can always do it again. You just click on effects. Let's say you want it right up against that window. So see, we were able to perfectly frame that little window with the title. Now, if you decide that you want to increase the size of your font, you grab the corner, stretch it out, then you are going to probably need to go back in again and adjust that curve. Because you can see now it's sort of flared out. So you need to, again, come back to effects and arch it a little bit more. All right, so here's our Winnie the Witch book cover. Okay, and now let me show you how to curve it upward. So I'm actually going to just... Uh, I'm going to copy it or duplicate it and bring it down here to this empty. Now I'm going to duplicate it. Now let's say we want a curve in a complete circle. We'll go to effects. There's our curve. It's already selected. We're already at 78 because we just duplicated it. And all you have to do is bring it all the way the other way. Let's see. And so that's how you would uh, curve it from the bottom, like we did uh, up here on this one. And that's also how you could make a complete circle uh, with your title as well. So I hope this video tutorial helps you when it comes to designing your own book cover. If it did, please let me know in the comment section below. I love hearing your feedback. And don't forget to subscribe because I add new video tutorials every week. Um, so that's it for today. Thanks again for watching, liking, and subscribing. Until next time, bye-bye.